That's it. This hair has got to go. Today we're talking about homestead haircuts and saving money with natural hair care. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead and I'll let you in on a little secret. Uh, I, I do keep my hair long most of the time but it has been well over a year since I cut my hair um, and it is just getting on my last nerve. So today is haircut day and on our homestead I do all the haircuts. I wanted to talk with you a little bit about why that would be a good idea for you, uh, how you can attain that, and, uh, and ways to save money on the homestead. Obviously, if you're not going to the beauty salon to get your hair cut anymore or to get your hair dyed anymore, you're going to save money. Um, it is a worthwhile investment to get a nice pair of scissors and um, a, a set of, you know, trimmers, you know, to do the, the men's hair. Um, that will go a long way. You'll save a ton of money um, doing it at home. And, um, you know, one way that makes that so easy for us to accomplish on our homestead, especially with the ladies. Now, there are three of us, obviously myself, and I've got a 14-year-old daughter and 11-year-old daughter. All of us have long hair. Uh, it makes it easier for me to cut everybody's hair that we have all the same hairstyle. And all of our hair is actually all one length. Uh, it makes it really easy for me to cut everybody's hair. Uh, all I have to do is, you know, figure out how short I want it and then cut it all the way around the same length. Um, it's easier for me and my oldest daughter, Grace, because our hair is kind of curly and wavy and so if we screw up a little bit you can't really see that much uh, but my younger daughter Samantha I need to take a little bit more time because her hair is straight and so if I screw up a little bit you notice it a lot more. Uh, Kevin is super easy to please when it comes to haircuts he just kind of lets me do whatever I want but it's pretty basic short in the back longer on on top. Um, another reason why I choose this hairstyle um, other than just it's easy to cut uh, by keeping my hair kind of on the longer side um, and keeping it all one length, I'm able to do a lot of things with my hair without it looking like terrible. I can, you know, I can braid it, I can put it up in a bun, I can wear it in a ponytail, um, it looks nice in a hat. Um, and I don't have to worry about like getting up every day and, and blow drying and using my flat iron or using a curling iron or whatever the case is. Um, and that's, that's just my preference. I think in general for me, having uh, long hair and all in length is just an easy hairstyle for the homestead. I can just get up, throw it up in a hat or in a bun or whatever and go about my day. But when I want it to look nice, I can, you know, wash it and oil it and comb it and, and that kind of thing. And I can wear it down to church or if we're going uh, on a date night. Um, so it's really versatile. Um, and if you're wondering, you know, what should you do, I highly recommend all one length on the longer side. So as I said in the beginning of the video, uh, I've about had it with this long of hair. I don't think you guys have ever seen how long my hair is. I never wear it down um, for videos because I'm super busy and when I'm working I don't want it in my face or in my way and that kind of thing. Um, but it has definitely been um, over a year since I cut my hair and the last time I did I think I only cut a couple inches off. So today is the day, okay? I need to get some of this hair off. So uh, I'm gonna do some cutting. I think I'm going to cut um, at least at least six inches off um, it may end up being a little bit more than that, um, but we'll see how it goes. So that's how I keep it pretty easy on the homestead so that we can take care of haircuts. Now, another way to save money on the homestead when it comes to hairstyle is to switch away from uh, commercial hair products and start using natural hair products. Now, full disclosure, you guys, um, I am in a house full of three ladies, uh, all with long hair. Um, we can't afford all of the super natural, fancy uh, health food store shampoo and conditioner. Um, so uh, I will tell you that uh, we continue to use store bought shampoo, just, you know, cheap stuff. Okay. That's, that's what we can afford. We go through a lot 
of um, shampoo and so I can't spend the money on the really expensive natural stuff. But I am working to find a recipe for a liquid shampoo that I can make um, myself. If you know of anything, anything inexpensive or a recipe that I can use to replace a uh, grocery store shampoo, please let me know. I'm looking. I'm desperate. I want to get rid of it. Um, but we also, well, we have replaced entirely the use of conditioner in our house. Uh, not only for money saving purposes, but you know, we are trying to get rid of as many chemicals and bad stuff in our lives as possible. All those chemicals soak through into your skin. Our skin is permeable, uh, you know, lotions soak in. That's why there are uh, transdermal patches and things uh, for some medication. Our skin is porous and some of those chemicals that we put on our body, on our scalp, on our skin, and those kinds of things, they soak into our body and into our bloodstream and affect us. Uh, good or bad, they affect us. Uh, so I'm trying to decrease those chemicals that we have in our lives for our health and our happiness. Uh, we also have some, pr some pretty significant uh, skin sensitivities and allergies within our homestead, and so uh, we are minimizing chemicals as much as possible. And I'm, I'll probably talk more about that stuff in the future in different areas of the house and our life and that kind of thing. So, back to my point, uh, we don't use conditioner from the grocery store. We use an apple cider vinegar rinse, uh, where in a quart-sized mason jar, uh, we put about, I would say, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar and then fill the rest of it up with warm water. Um, I put like four or five drops of an essential oil that I think smells nice for me and that will make my hair smell nice. Um, my favorites are lavender um, and I also really like peppermint. Um, and then we put that through our hair after we shampoo, uh, put it all through our hair and make sure it gets down uh, through the roots and everything. Uh, we let it sit in there for the remainder of our shower. We put it up in a bun on top of our head so it doesn't get wet. And then after we, you know, shave and, you know, wash our bodies and stuff like that, then we rinse it all out, okay? Uh, apple cider vinegar is a very good conditioner for your hair. It doesn't seem like it, right? It doesn't make sense because it's an acid. Uh, but apple cider vinegar actually seals uh, the shafts in your hair um, and it actually makes it easier to brush. Uh, it is a natural detangler and it works, let me tell you, okay? Um, if I make sure to brush my hair before I uh, wash it and condition it and when I get out, um, it is a night and day difference between using absolutely no conditioner on my really long hair and using the apple cider vinegar uh, wash, rinse rather. Uh, I love it, okay? I, I'm, I'm convinced I've been using it for about two years. The girls also use it, um, so I highly recommend it. Uh, the other thing is we just do not use hairspray anymore. No mousse, no gel, no anything, whatever all that kind of stuff is. Uh, but I will tell you that what I have found to be very effective on my hair, it keeps it nice and shiny and healthy. Uh, I use argan oil. It's spelled A-R-G-A-N. And I just use about five drops total on my hair. I put it in after I get out of the shower, I towel dry it and work it through. Um, and then I brush through my hair and it, it uh, makes it look absolutely beautiful. It keeps it healthy. Um, and I think also it helps with the, the tangles too. Um, argan oil is a little bit on the expensive side, but you use such a little bit at a time. I know that my little four ounce bottle is probably gonna last me for over a year. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I mean, that's not bad, right? I mean, that didn't, uh, that wasn't too intimidating. That wasn't very hard. Just cut it straight across and clean up the edges at the end. So. It is something you can try. Go ahead, give it a try. Uh, save some money, uh, do haircuts for your whole family on the homestead. And uh, you know, there was one more thing that I didn't talk about. Um, and uh, really, just probably within the last six months have I uh, made the switch from good old hair dye, I uh, guess, I dye my hair. I started going uh, gray at 30, now I'm 41, so 11 years of going gray. 
Um, and uh, I just feel like at 41, I'm not quite ready to not be gray like entirely because honestly guys, it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm due for another color pretty soon. Uh, but I made the switch from uh, standard grocery store uh, hair dye, which to be honest guys, I mean, there's a huge savings just from stopping at the salon and buying this at the grocery store. I think the, these go for like eight or nine bucks. Uh, when we were in Phoenix and I was getting my hair cut and colored, in a you know in a nice salon in the Phoenix area with the tip I was I was spending like 150 bucks like that's ridiculous that's too much okay uh, so I started doing my own hair but then I started feeling really guilty about all these chemicals that I was putting on my scalp and stuff and actually like the vapors and stuff that I was breathing so uh, I went a long time without dyeing my hair I felt very self-conscious I started looking for a natural alternative and I've tried one and I like it. Um, it is, uh, the brand is Light Mountain Natural Hair Color and Conditioner. Uh, the color I use is dark brown. Now, essentially, this is henna hair dye. Uh, so this is actually indigo, which is blue, combined with uh, henna, which is kind of reddish, okay? But the combination of the two of them uh, makes my hair a nice color. Um, I'm going to be doing this again uh, someday soon. Um, if you guys are interested in knowing more about this or if you want me to do a how-to uh, to use this henna hair dye, uh, let me know. Um, or if you want me to also do a review on this, I could do it kind of at the same time um, if there's enough interest in that. Uh, so um, I, I also want to show you... <laughs> Look at... <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is how much I cut off. Doesn't it look nice, you guys? I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've had my hair this short. Look at that's how much I cut off right there. That was a lot of hair. Uh, so, uh, like I said, you guys, uh, take it, take more control of your lives, take more control of your finances within your homestead. You could do it. You can do it. It's not very hard. Um, and, uh, so, you know, thanks for stopping by the homestead and watching me cut my hair and listening to all the things I had to say about saving money and, and natural hair care and stuff. And don't forget, if you guys know of a natural alternative to shampoo, uh, let me know. I would be sure to find out about it and look into it and see if it would be worth it for our family. Um, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, I would sure appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button below. Uh, I love to communicate with you, so, you know, also give me a comment to tell me what's up with you guys, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care, and God bless.